Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Amasid and today we are reviewing loot from 25 Elder Runs. So uh, I bought uh, 25 sets of fragments. Um, it was about an exalt per set, give or take. Uh, exalts are going for 85 chaos a pop right now. So the total investment was about 2125 chaos. Um, we're going to go over total values now, see what we made, see how it went. Um, I've parsed through the loot a little bit already, um, but I'm saving the best for last. We have seven unidentified prismatic jewels that we got from 25 runs. So our drop rate overall on jewels was about 28%, um, which I believe is in line with what I was reading. It, I think the average is about 25 to 33% drop rate, somewhere in there. So 28% seems uh, about in line with that. Um, so we'll go over values and then obviously we'll see if we made money and see, see what we're working with here. So I originally had an entire dump tab filled with loot, uh, filled with, I picked up every single elder influenced item that they dropped and it was pretty much all the loot, uniques included, watcher's eyes, everything, filled up roughly one dump tab. Uh, I parsed through it and these are the bases that had any value at all um any value at all meaning 5c or more uh for default sake i'm going to call all of these 5c so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine that's 45 chaos right there um off the original value so we'll call that 45c no none of the bases that i got because they're all item level 85 uh, and i also just didn't get any great ones uh, in general, are, are just not worth that much. I, I vendored, you know, an entire tab full, pretty much, of rares that just weren't worth anything. I mean, I'm sure I could have probably sold them for like two, three chaos a pop. So if you want to count that, it's probably going to be like another like 50c, 60c, and maybe a, little, maybe a little more. But it's frankly, I didn't. It's not worth selling to me, so I vendored them. Um, but in terms of actual valuable rares that would, that would I would take the time to sell, it's going to be about 45c here. So, uniques. We got two wands. The wands are worth about 2k or 1k a pop. Nebulox are worth two a pop. The gloves are worth one. The belts are generally worth like 2k chaos, but uh, we had one belt that was uh, a relatively, we had one 12% and one 14%. So the 14% belt is about 10 chaos, and I believe the 12 is going to be about five. Three. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So that puts our total at 81 right there. Um, then we have in presences. Uh, flam obviously, the, the main one is despair. This one's worth four. Conductivity is worth two so it's six i got three frostbites so that's another uh 12 and then we have two despairs out of this despairs are worth i believe about 10 okay uh 12 chaos so we will call it 36 total chaos for everything else so that's 117 chaos um right there out of again a perceived value I believe I said 2125. Is that right? Uh, what did I say? So we said 117 versus 85 times 25. Yeah, 2125. So that's that. We're going to get to the watcher's eyes in just a second, but also important to count the fragments. So these are all just from running these. We got 25 fragments here, 14 emptiness, 11 terror. Terrors are worth 26 a pop. So that's 11 times 26. That's 286 plus 286. And emptiness is, I'm guessing, are worth about the same. So it's 14 times, let's see. Ooh. Emptiness is worth about 25, so 350. So, so far we're at 753 chaos, which would be a loss except for we have seven unidentified watcher's eyes. So unidentified watcher's eyes are about four and a half exalts to five exalts each unid'd. So 
let's just say for argument's sake, it's 4.5. So we have 4.5 times seven. That's just 31.5 X right there in pure watcher's eyes. So we would make money six and a half X just purely on the watcher's eyes. Obviously I'm gonna ID them, but just for context, you can sell these on ID'd for four and a half, five X and you make your money back right there easily. Um, within that drop rate, I, I'm honestly, if the drop rate holds true of 25 to 33% of what I was reading, um, then you'd make money doing this pretty much every single time. Um, obviously you can get unlucky streaks and so on and so forth, but it's, uh, it's pretty much what you'd expect is to get, you know, seven, six, seven plus, uh, watcher's eyes. So obviously we're going to ID them. We can hit some great ones. There's a ton of great mods, but let's, let's start her off. Holy crap. Is this still worth as much as it used to be? Oh, it's only 8x. What about cold damage while affected by hatred? That seems like a good one. 4x. What about the two together? 75x. What is this, guys? Is this guy's a 2 or a 3 mod? He's a 3 mod with the discipline recovery rate, but that doesn't really matter. I don't think. Holy crap. It's also perfectly rolled. Oh, they nerfed the clarity mod. That's why it used to be higher. That's right. Wow. That's an incredible start. I think this is probably worth like maybe, I mean, hatred and clarity. I mean, I'm using hatred and clarity right now. I'm using for context, I'm using a uh, physical damage converted to lightning while well, affected by wrath. But this is, this seems, I mean, this seems really good. Physical damage converted to cold damage while affected by hatred. Wow. Okay. Well, that seems like a, I mean, that could be a 50 X jewel for all I know. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure yet. I'll price it, but that seems like a really, really strong jewel. I know last league, couple leagues, it, you know, clarity jewel was uh 20 X plus minimum just for that mod. Another hatred jewel. Not a great roll. Let's see what's damage taken as cold while affected by pure developments. Probably not that much. Yeah. 20 chaos. What about the two together? No, doesn't matter. So it's, it's about a four X jewel. So we technically lost money by IDing this, but it's still a four X jewel. So that's not bad. Reduced elemental reflect damage taken. This one seems horrible. One X for the poison. Yeah. So it's like a one X jewel. So we lost three X on this jewel by IDing it. Next one. Damage taken from hits while affected by period of elements and unaffected by enfeeble seems bad. Yeah, 20C and I'm sure this is like nothing. Okay, so this is the worst jewel yet. So this is the worst jewel we have yet for sure. Next one. We've gotten a lot of damage as taken as another element while affected by purity of elements. Reduced damage from crit while affected by termination seems bad. Yep, 20 chaos. Yeah, this is a really, se the second worst jewel, maybe even just as bad. Increased critical strike chance while affected by zealotry and another purity one. Let's I think the zealotry one might be good. Nope. 50C. Oh, but one X for the purity of ice one. I guess that makes sense. So it's like a one X jewel. Again, lost money by IDing it. And the last one doesn't seem good. Vulnerability is probably not that good. Yeah. Immune to shock. Okay. Not great. So these were all pretty bad. Where's the other one? This one, is there one more? I think it was this one, right? This one was like an X. Yeah, okay. So these are almost worthless. I'll probably sell these for 20C. This one seems like it could be insane. I, I mean, at the minimum, it's gonna be a 10X jewel. Eight to 10X jewel, for sure. Absolute bare minimum. These two mods together, there's only one it has a third modifier, but I don't, uh, I don't know. A day, oh, a day ago, this guy has it for 10x, 14x. These guys are offline. This is like a pretty, these are pretty comparable jewels. So maybe there's like a 10x jewel. Um, still pretty good. I mean, it's still a really good jewel and it's, it's a great roll. So all in all, let's say 10. And then we said this one was, I think four. 
Yep. Okay, so 14, 15, 16. So 16x in jewels right there. So we would lose money on this overall. Uh, if this obviously if we had sold these on ID, we would have made money. But unfortunately, uh, I'm addicted to the gamble. So there's no choice. But anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.